clearly the, the right answer is enthusiastic because technology has tremendous potential to make life better for customers, businesses and society. Naturally, there are some risks along the way and we need to be mindful of those in how we approach this, but overwhelmingly positive about the future. Well, I've been talking today a lot about data insights and the potential to use data to help customers and society. And the main risk we have is that people don't trust companies or governments or organizations with their data. So if we can counter that by being you know, open and transparent, by offering them security and giving them reasons why the data genuinely helps them do better things with their lives, then I think we can overcome that. I think within our company, the big challenge is for us to get harmonization of all the data so that something we discover and works really well for customers in one place can be deployed quickly and cheaply across all of our customers. From a customer perspective, we're deploying something called Aura. And Aura is a cognitive intelligence that lets them talk you know, in, an, in the natural language, in a simple way through whatever channel is most convenient to technology, and it just works. Our belief around data and how it has to be helping customers, not harming customers, is already you know, consistent with and goes beyond, in some cases, the regulation. Some concerns I might have around innovation, so we've got to be careful that we don't stilt and hold back innovation by too onerous permissions. But in terms of the end use, it's absolutely right that we get customers' permission. It's absolutely right they understand how that data is being used, and it's absolutely right that they derive value from themselves from its use. I think there's a risk that we end up with just a click tax. You know, you just click, click, click to get to the website or the application that you want, and the policies, the terms and conditions, the, the cookie rules are irrelevant because, frankly, if you ever tried to say no, all that happens is the app doesn't work, the website doesn't load. So it's not informed consent because customers aren't informed. It's, it's a barrier, but it doesn't help them actually understand how their data is being used. So that's concerning. It doesn't work.